How to install an outlet. How to not die while playing with electricity. So, to install a new plug, you're going to need a few simple tools. First, a razor for slicing the insulation. Second, wire strippers for stripping the wires. Then you'll need some pliers for twisting wires if you have to combine any. And then you also need a wire cap, some electrical tape, and if you want to feel real safe about what you're doing, you'll need some sort of uh, circuit tester. It's very important to make sure that you don't have any power coming to these wires. Uh, I know these aren't connected to anything because it's new and it's not connected to anything. The other end of this wire goes to nowhere and the same with this one. But if you are repairing or fixing one, be sure to uh, turn off the breaker and test to make sure that there's no power there. You can do that with a bunch of different tools. Here's a circuit tester that plugs into a plug. So if you're replacing one because part of it was bad, you can test and see if there's any power there. The second circuit tester I have is uh, one with probes. And if all else fails, you can always get out the old multimeter and figure it out. But, we don't have to do that here. So first things first, you're going to want to strip the insulation. And I like to have a lot of wire exposed. So you pull back the insulation and just get rid of that outer sheathing. And then I also do away with the paper. Because we don't need that. I say I need... Uh, and repeat. So the way I will be wiring this plug is straight out of my Stanley Complete Wiring book. And it's the preferred uh, method of this book for having a plug where you have to combine two wires in the middle of a series of plugs. And what that involves is putting in a little uh, pigtail or jumper wire. So basically I will have three wires going combined together with a cap that then will go to my plug. So let's see how this is done. First, go ahead and strip all the wires. <sighs> Once all the wires are stripped, uh, you're going to want to organize them a little bit. If you look at your plug, you'll notice that on the back there is a uh, brass screw and a silver screw and always a green screw. If brass is hot, silver is neutral, and green is ground. Brass is on the, if you're looking at it, the right hand side. Those are hot, so you're going to want to have your, your black wires, more or less in that area, neutral to the side and ground towards the bottom. So, neutral, hot, ground. Next step will be combining all the wires that you're going to be using and twisting them with your electric pliers. Uh, hopefully yours aren't a thousand years old without any insulation, but if they are, it's fine. So what I do here is I just pinch all three and then I just give it a couple twists and then I loosen up and I bite again and I twist some more and then I do some loose twists just to get them all nice and tight. 
then you take the cap you put it on there and you give it some twisting and I go pretty tight with the caps not so tight as to break it but tight enough to be 100% positive that they're connected then you want to tug on the individual wires make sure they're all nice and tight and if you're truly going to be doing best practices might as well secure the cap with some electrical tape my method for that is I get it started I go around the wings of the cap work my way down keep getting lower until I'm just on the wires and I break it off and you will repeat that basic step for all three wires you don't really need to use electrical tape on the white the neutral you certainly don't need to use it on on the ground but I do anyways uh, I don't know why all right so here's the ground it's a little bit uneven on the end so we'll just give it a little snip put a cap on it make it secure and tape it like a freak so here we have a literally by the book gorgeous electrical connection and what we're going to do is we're just going to smash all these things into the back of the box smush keeping the orientation of our wires fairly accessible so one thing that's really frustrating is eventually this plug is going to wear out and you're gonna to have to replace it and this is gonna piss you completely off if you don't leave yourself enough wire that you can actually pull this thing out far enough to access the screws so to avoid that and also make it easier to install I usually kink a little S into the thing before I give it a sneak that way I can have that much wire to pull out and then when I install it I can cram it back in there and it's not in the way so I'm gonna go ahead and put my S in all these all right there's my S bend and all my wires I got enough left over for some pigtails on the next one now we'll go ahead and strip these if you're going to use this sort of socket where it has a compression fitting you would just do a just enough insulation where you could get that wire to seat in there all the way to the bottom without leaving any exposed on the back like that but I prefer this connection because these are 65 cents versus you know four dollars and also I think the connection is a little stronger where you put a U in the copper wrap it around the screw and tighten it down and that requires a little bit more insulation to be removed there alright so when you put the U in this thing remember that you're going to be tightening this by turning it clockwise right and so if you make the U wrap around it clockwise as you tighten it it won't push the wire out so that means in this configuration you're going to make the U bend up something like that and then that's a little tight let's see if I can get that on here yeah just like that and if, if the U is a little loose 
Go ahead and put the pliers on it and squeeze it tight. But that one's pretty good. Get the wire in there straight. And tighten it up or, you know, whatever you got to do. Make yourself feel like it's tight. Let's get that out of the way. Then we will repeat. This time, since we're going to be tightening it clockwise again, this time we will bend the U down Can. Things are getting a little tight. Let me get the camera angle different. Oh boy, how's that for a close up? So, again, this will be the clockwise bend down. on there somehow sorry I smashed my thumb I can't push very hard right now then we'll tighten that oops let me get it it's supposed to be oh I'm in my own way all right then we'll tighten that around there and then we will tighten the screw like so <sighs> so then my S's are still in there more or less this is a good time to get it twisted around test fit it a couple times get those wires used to where they're gonna live make sure it's more or less flat oop I wasn't even looking at it oh get the screws started One thing that the book did recommend was taking your electrical tape and going around protecting all the screws. But I think since it's in a plastic box, it is more than safe. And uh, I guess there's, there's some risk that without a cover plate, you might think that you can grab this thing and stick your finger in here get electrocuted but that's really kind of a ridiculous thing to have happen because now you're an expert and you know better than to electrocute yourself so I'm not saying that this is really how an electrician would install a plug because this would take forever and at the rate that electricians charge you know 45 bucks an hour or something it would really add up but I am saying that the book I read on how to do this certainly was written by an electrician who was asked to uh, come up with some safe practices for the homeowner and uh, just a little disclaimer I'm not an electrician I am nothing special I have no idea what I'm doing I shouldn't be around electricity because I am functionally retarded but don't be afraid of electricity. Just make sure it's shut off before you play with it. Alright, y'all be good. Bye.